Well, hello again, everyone. Welcome back. Hopefully this video finds you well. Today, we're going to look at a new brand, or at least a new brand to me, Delicious Oats. Uh, this is set up to be an overnight oat. Um, a lot of times on the trail, you'll have a lot of folks uh, that cold soak. So they'll take their meals, they'll put, you know, cold water in it and let it steep for hours. Basically, you know, so if uh, you're in the morning, you know, you might make your lunch or dinner, depending on how you eat on trail, and uh, throw some cold water in there, put it in your pack, and then as soon as you're, say, to your destination or next site or next stopping point, you can take out your meal and it should be rehydrated. Now, obviously, that means you're not necessarily having a hot meal, um, but in the case of something like oats, oatmeal, all that good sort of stuff, it's really not a huge problem. Uh, so this is their cherry chocolate variety. And I like this down here. 42 seconds of nighttime prep, no cooking, cleanup, or morning prep. Um, and that is important, especially if you have like a very long trip. So let's go ahead and take a peek at our nutritional information. So two serving pouch, 550 calories for the entirety of this pouch. So not terrible our ingredients list, which is pretty, pretty small. Although I do see monk fruit in there, a monk fruit blend. Monk fruit, you know, I've seen a lot as a sweetener, not necessarily my favorite, but it, it does work. Um, and then again, just very basic. Now for our preparation instructions, we do have the cold soak method, which we're basically looking for three plus hours in the liquid, eight ounces of water. We're going to go ahead and do this hot meal instruction, which is 11 ounces of boiling water and then uh, 12 minutes basically to, uh, to uh, finish that rehydration there. I do also enjoy this because a lot of companies don't necessarily think about uh, altitude very much. And um, I've been in some fairly high altitudes and haven't had much trouble, you know, doing stuff. But at the same token, you know, sometimes it does affect, um, it certainly does affect the timing, but tested above 4,800 feet above sea level. So there we go. Let's go ahead and open it up, see what we're working with today. And honestly, I like my oats warm. Some people like them cold. It uh, doesn't look like we have uh, an oxygen absorber, which is fine. Let's take a smell of that. Ooh, smells nice. At some of our cherry here. Did it say it had cinnamon? Yep, cinnamon right down there. I can smell the cinnamon. Mm. That does smell nice. You know, the funny thing is, is I, I really don't uh, have, well, I wouldn't say have the opportunity. I don't ingest much in the way of oats in normal life. I tend to uh, gravitate toward other breakfast foods, but uh, everybody's a little different. And the only time really I've ever really gotten into oats is uh, when I'm on trail. Because it is a fairly convenient meal. Pretty quick to rehydrate for the most part. And uh, very good. So for those of you who are new to the channel, I know people get uh, a little annoyed at me. I actually just recently saw a comment calling me a wing it man. And you're right, I am a wing it man. But uh, if this is your first time, you know, obviously go by the instructions. It's, it's there for a reason, but at the same token, when you've done this long enough, you're, you're gonna wing it after a while. I'm not sitting out here precisely measuring stuff, but um, I tend to add about as much water as I think will, you know, kind of make it look like what I would want to when it's done, and then add a little bit more to leave some room for that rehydration time. Oats will suck up a lot of water. Same thing with rice, same thing with anything with beans. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to let this set. I'll probably check it about halfway, see if it needs more water. And then uh, after we're done with all that, bring it back and we'll taste it. All right, y'all, delicious oats time. I did add a little bit more water after the fact. So when I'm doing, well, I guess specifically hot oats, I don't really do cold oats. I do kind of like it a little bit soupier, I guess. So I added a little bit more just so it wasn't kind of like one blob of oats, but the chocolate smell off of this is really nice. And I want this, this one cherry that, uh, <laughs> that I think I picked up on the very beginning. Let's try it out. 
Mm. Okay. Get a little bit more. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. One of my favorite, not only traditions, but cookies are no-bakes. Okay? Every year, Christmas time, you know, my parents would make them. Now I make them for people. No-bakes. They're dead simple to make. But they're delicious. But they're finicky. Okay? Because oats do absorb a lot. And for me, I like my no-bakes to be a little bit more on the fudgy side. So that they're not so hard. Now why am I telling you that? No reason really. No, I'm just kidding. This kind of tastes like the, uh, like the cocoa powder that I use for my no bakes. It's, it's reminiscent of that. Um, that one cherry that I got was nice and tart. Here's another one. I was kind of searching for, for another little cherry here. But the cherry is nice and tart. So it cuts through the, 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 the cocoa, the chocolate a little bit. Because like eating just straight up chocolate stuff can be a little boring. You got to have something to cut it. You know, cut through a tart flavor. Cherry will obviously do that quite well. Um, if I had any criticism, I would say more cherries. More cherries. Or figure out a way to put more cherry flavor in this. But if it were just more cherries, I'd be pretty happy. And honestly, just a pinch of salt would carry that a long way. Now, on the other side of that, looking at the uh, average American consumer, this would have, this would not have enough sugar content for the average American who is more acclimatized to heavily sugared breakfast type stuff. Even with oats, cinnamon sugar is a big seller in oats for a reason. Because cinnamon and sugar, you know. For me, I try and cut out a lot of that sugar anymore because honestly, it's really not good for you to have a ton but like having a little bit of sugar, you know, it's, it's nice. It's, you know, it, it's okay in moderation, right? As with about anything. Um, but for, I think for the average consumer, this would not be enough sugar and it would probably render it somewhat unpalatable to certain palates. For me, I think it's just fine. But I, I, just, I recognize that as a child of sugar, <laughs> like most of us are. I recognize that. But the oats themselves are good. The chocolate content I think is good. It takes me back to my sort of memory of like no bake cookies. And then every once in a while you get one of those tart cherries in there that cut through everything and add another dimension. So I think it's good. Now, I think I did point out when I first started looking at this, the uh, cinnamon. Yeah, cinnamon. Oh, and they also did say pink Himalayan sea salt. Just could use a touch more salt if it were me. Um, but the, the, the cinnamon doesn't really come through as much uh, once you're eating it. Uh, to be fair, I don't really care. I'm digging the chocolate and the cherry, so cinnamon is really secondary to me. But, but a good oat company, um, I, I'm, I'm happy with this. And obviously being delicious oats, I'm pretty sure all they do are oats. <laughs> so, um, but if you're looking maybe for another, you know, kind of breakfasty, type of thing uh, to, to add to your repertoire um, and you know specifically more if you're a cold soaker this might be one to try I would give it a recommend maybe I'll try some more on the channel uh, maybe I won't I don't know but uh, if any of you have tried the brand and this one specifically leave me a comment down below let me know what your thoughts were um, you know and also you know what future ideas for future videos if you have anything that you think I should pick up leave a comment uh, if you'd like to send something in to be reviewed on the channel, the P.O. box is in the description, along with the Patreon link if you want to support the channel. You don't have to, but it's there. And don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one. See ya.